Welcome to the Media Box. I'm joined by Tini Cox, President of the Parliamentary Assembly of the Council of Europe. Your reaction to what the United Kingdom uh, is doing, first of all, in terms of asylum seekers to Rwanda, but also legislation which could potentially distance it from the European Court of Human Rights. The debate showed clearly that all uh, those who took the, the floor are very worried about the possibility that uh, the United Kingdom is going on a track to outsource uh, people who seek asylum in the United Kingdom, to outsource them to an, an African country that is poor, poor uh, in a material sense, but also poor in its record with regard to human rights. So that worry is a general worry. The second worry is that in order to make this possible, the United Kingdom has the idea, its government, to withdraw its Human Rights Act, which was seen as one of the, of the, the most famous laws that the United Kingdom produced and an example to the rest of the world, and to replace it with a Bill of Rights, which could also be seen, according to many of the, of the delegates, as a bill of taking away rights of citizens. And not only the position of British citizens, is under threat, according to almost all the colleagues who spoke, but also the legacy of Sir Winston Churchill, who was the founding father of the Council of Europe and who gave birth, you could say, to the European Convention of Human Rights, this, this unique document in, 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 in the world, that this legacy is under threat if the U UK government continues. And how concerned are you that the UK is distancing itself from obligations that it's long played a part in? The UK uh, was uh, amongst the founding fathers of this, uh, this, this organization. And to be uh, fair, the UK does, does not have a bad track record over here. There are only few, few verdicts of the courts that have to be implemented by the British government. Uh, there, there, are far other, and there are other countries who are far more suppliers of cases to the court. So the UK is amongst our best members in this, uh, in this respect. I'm very worried and I hope that the British government uh, will, uh, will listen very carefully to, to the international world and I hope also that the British parliamentarians, uh, part of them are here represented, that they will bring back the, the message to Westminster, don't do it, if it ain't broken, don't fix it. Tini Collins, thanks very much for joining us. My pleasure.